Greetings card fighters and welcome to Premium 101, an introduction to Card Fight Vanguard's premium format. I'm Devlin Cassidy, aka The Scholar, and I'm here to help you start your premium format journey in the game of Card Fight Vanguard. I hope that this starter's guide for today's clan is very beneficial in having you figure out what deck you want to pick up when you decide to play premium. I hope that you find this video very informational and helpful and hopefully have you start on your premium journey. So now we jump on in to the Magalanica clans in the last latter half of Stoikea before we jump into Bermuda Triangle. But this is Aqua Force. This is Vanguard's Navy. So this deck is absolutely super cool. It's a bunch of rear guards that do multi attack. So it's kind of similar to Great Nature and a couple other decks um, that have their, like a lot of their restanding Vanguards and like they do a bunch of different things. But Aqua Force counts the number of attacks that happen in a turn. So you'll see this like wave mechanic um, that is very, very good. So just kind of starting off with a general tip on Aqua Force. Um, this is a list actually brought to you by Commander Jaime. And uh, he was so gracious to give me this list. He was actually about to do a deck profile on it. And I hit him. I was like, hey, I need an Aqua Force list. You're one of the best I know. Can you give it to me? Um, so he, uh, he gave this to me. And so you have actually these long spread out ranges of like old like Thavis. Um, so you have this OG Thavis. So you have three OG Thavises and one V Thavis. Um, v Thavis gives you access to that ride down play for stride denial. Um, and the other v, uh, G Thavises give you access to your history collection stride, which gives you more Excel markers. You're always going Excel, so you want to see these amazing rear guards that you have with like Pursuit Assault that gives you a lot of advantage and um, Repress Strike. There's so many cards that just do so many like very valuable things. On the attack lines he also plays valios which is also going to be another main staple in the next deck list we're covering because valios gets to actually lock your opponent's power at 11k um and it cannot increase um by trigger by damage triggers so if they're like at four and a damage trigger like can save them well it doesn't if you strode on top of valios uh, they also have access to um uh, farigas dragon which gives them another excel marker so like off the straight generation between those two, you can get three um, Excel markers. And that's just a lot of very valuable stuff. You have uh, access to Genbold, which can call more cards from the top of your deck, so you get to flood out your board. And then you also have this Stride version of Valios, which can lock out your opponent's power as well. Um, some main things to kind of highlight here for V Thavis is this, this is actually a really big out to the Mega Colony matchup because it can you can you can pseudo stride into Lambros, which gives your ability to restand your entire board. Um, and then you have access, obviously, to the good cards like Coral, Assault, and other things. Uh, a big thing I'm seeing here that's missing is a Nerissa. But I know Commander Jaime, when he's going to bring out this deck profile, will explain why these choices are as such. Um, but overall, again, really good suite. Very aggressive um, deck that loves to farm its value. And so that's what it's able to capitalize on. So that is Thavis for you all. Then we're going to talk about Blue Wave. Blue is a little more combo oriented, you know, you're able to play into the Tetra Drive, you're able to play into Valios again for the power locking, there's just so much free value found inside Blue Waves, um, with also having the heal and the crit. Um, the crit goes back to deck, and this is actually provided to me by one of Commander Jaime's friends, um, and he's using the Zorga order to increase his drive checks for when he has his write-up turn with Tetra Drive Dragon, which I think is actually a pretty hot tech. Um, the big thing here though is like just getting um, the order card so you have to like kind of flood out on these like have it be good but it is what it is like a free free stride up is pretty good um, you get access when you play blue waves into blue wave marshall flood hazard because um, you have a heart with blue wave in its card name um, and you have rear guards with blue wave in their card names so you're able to restand him get drive minus three then a gb3 gets plus uh, my uh, plus uh, a drive so he's able to go back to a single drive when he restands um tetra boil just gives you more advantage being able to restand after the fourth attack of the turn um overall just this is definitely the wave deck the one that counts the most attacks so this deck has a lot of good value built into it and is definitely uh a lot more budget to try for sure and then we get into Maelstrom. Maelstrom, I'd say, is kind of the, the, the weakest out of all the ones it has access to. Like, the, the specific uh, Maelstrom strides aren't that fantastic. Um, and you kind of lose out on all the amazing rear guards that you have access to inside other decks. Um, but... The big thing here is like Maelstrom can like make some really weird like guard restrictions. So if you're able to, you know, just be able to turbo and get some cards into soul overall, you have um, really good access to 
Maelstrom's ability to play um, by giving the guard restrict, like you can't guard with certain things off of glory. And so overall, uh, just high value, high pressure. You'll, you know, finish with Alexandros really, really well. Um, just so that way on like the second or third attack, you can choose two of your rear guards and they get plus 5k for each face up card in your G zone. It's kind of your main finisher inside, um, inside Maelstrom, uh, just because you're not generating tons of advantage, but it's definitely a deck you should for sure look at. Um, but yeah, again, go check out Commander Jaime, go check out everyone that's been on Aqua Force Grime content. This clan is very interesting to, to play and not as a master, but as someone who has good general knowledge in what the game plan for the clan can do, uh, it's very solid and is tons of fun to play. So definitely check them out if you're interested in playing Aqua Force in premium. And there you have it. Hopefully some of the deck ideas found here in this clan were very, very beneficial for you all and so that way you guys can start your premium journey if not feel free to check out the other starters guides on this channel if you kind of have a rough idea of what clans you're looking into or there's the entire video of where all this was broken up from that you guys can feel free to put on the background and listen to as you guys can watch me ramble about decks but i hope that this was very beneficial and that you guys continue along with me uh hopefully see you in the next lesson and until next time like comment subscribe and i will see you all later